Are you looking to build a PC that gives you amazing streaming performance without breaking the bank? If so, you came to the right place. Today, I'll show you how to get the best value for your money with a high performance streaming and gaming PC in 2025. And of course, all of this without overpaying. I'll show you each component and why I picked it for streaming. And then I'll also show you benchmarks that you can expect for different type of games and monitor resolution. In the video description, you will find the link to the main streaming PC and all the alternatives that I'm going to mention today for different budgets and resolutions. My name is Valentino. That being said, let's start. So the best value streaming and gaming PC has to have a capable CPU and that's why I went with the Ryzen 5 7600. The CPU from AMD is under 200 US dollars by the time of filming and it will be amazing when it comes to both streaming and gaming at the same time. Now, even though this CPU is very capable of streaming itself, I do recommend you streaming with your graphics card, meaning that the encoder in OBS or just any program that you will use just make sure you are streaming with your graphics card the reason why i say this is because graphics cards are very powerful and also the streaming quality is going to look the same as if you stream with your cpu and it's going to consume way less resources that are going to help you out while gaming so if you stream with your cpu then the level of gaming performance will drop by a lot talking about the graphics card i picked the rx 7700 xt which is one of the best value graphics cards in the entire market today very very capable of 1440p high to ultra settings and of course if you play at 1080p you will achieving very very high fps if you want to stream games like fortnite or valorant or just any esports title you can expect well over 360 plus fps on average at 1080p competitive settings in these type of games and you can expect 240 plus fps when it comes to 1440p resolution so feel free to buy a 1440p 240 hertz monitor or a 1080p 360 hertz one now the 7700 xt is also capable of 4k resolution gaming depending on the game the 7700 xt will be perfectly fine for 4k resolution as well now for streaming you also need enough memory and for that reason i went with 32 gigs of ddr5 memory which is going to be the standard for gaming and streaming nowadays having 64 gigs of ram in my opinion is an overkill for most people unless you know that your streams will need a bunch of tabs open and i'm talking about loads of tabs because 32 gigs of RAM is going to be enough for most people, as I said before. Then you get a one terabyte SSD, a motherboard with Wi-Fi included as well. And then for the case, you get a Montec Air 100 ARGB, which in my opinion is one of the best price to performance cases in the entire market. Really nice build quality and the aesthetics are top tier in my opinion. Last but not least, you get a 650 watt power supply, which is going to be enough for this particular gaming and streaming PC. And the total price for this system will be around a thousand US dollars, which is actually a very fair price considering that you get a top of the line 1440p gaming system that you can also use for 1080p very high FPS in any type of game. And then the streaming performance is going to be perfect and you get AV1 encoding from the graphics card so if you want to use AV1 encoding you will be getting a much nicer streaming quality. Now if you have less money to spend I will talk about a cheaper PC build in just a second but before doing that I want to talk about a streaming PC that's a bit more expensive and I would only recommend you this more expensive PC if you will be streaming with your CPU. If you really want to stream with your CPU then I recommend you upgrading from the Ryzen 5 7600 to the Ryzen 7 7700. This Ryzen Ryzen 7 has 8 cores instead of 6 cores, which will help you out especially at 1080p resolution if you are streaming with your CPU. Once again, I do recommend you going with the last system, save 80 bucks and stream with your graphics card. But if for some reason you want to stream with your CPU or you want to have the option to stream with your CPU and not have any issues when it comes to FPS drops or anything like that, then going with the Ryzen 7 7700 will be a better idea. And then if you want to play at 1080p and you don't want to spend a thousand bucks, I do recommend you going with the Intel Arc B580 instead, which is the newest graphics card from Intel. It has AV1 encoding as well, and it's going to be top tier when it comes to gaming for 1080p resolution. The only issue here is that it's almost never in stock, but I will leave a link in the video description with the latest pricing and availability for you to check if it's in stock by the time of watching. Now, this GPU from Intel is also capable of 1440p resolution, so it's not like you're getting a graphics card just for 1080p, but I'm just saying if you play at 1080p and you want to spend less, this is going to be your best option, and the total price for this system will be around 850 US dollars. 
On the other hand, if you have more money to spend and you want to stream at 4K, maybe you want to stream high demanding titles and you want a 4K monitor, then I recommend you upgrading the graphics card to the RX 7900 XT. This GPU from AMD is going to be amazing when it comes to 4K resolution and of course 1440p, very high FPS if you want to play at 1440p, but if you want to play at 4K, this GPU will allow you to play any game that you want at 4K high to ultra settings and because this gpu is so powerful i had to change the power supply to an 850 watt power supply at rated unit so you will also find that down in the description as an alternative the total price for this system will be around 1300 bucks which is expensive but at the same time in my opinion is still the best value streaming pc if you want to play at 4k resolution and if you want to stream your console you just want a pc for streaming you definitely do not need all this power you can just go with the intel arc b580 and you will be getting an amazing level of streaming performance for your ps5 or your xbox or you could easily spend less for around 600 usd and get a cheaper graphics card and that's going to be fine as well for console streaming but anyway, if you have even more money to spend and you want faster gaming performance, you can get better systems, but they are not going to be the best value one. They are going to be way more expensive. So in terms of price, they are not going to be low, but regardless of that, they will provide better performance. So in that case, I recommend you watching my video on the best gaming PCs for every budget and every resolution. You will find that video in the middle of the screen. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.